For many churchgoers, the pandemic has led to virtual services or outdoor services. In any case, not everyone's happy about it. And now the governor is facing increasing pressure to do something about it. Senate Republicans reached out to Governor Cooper last Friday with a letter asking him to clarify his rules on church services, questioning the shutdown order, which says, quote, services shall take place outdoors unless impossible. It's just not clear. Nobody seems to know. Forsyth County Republican Joyce Kravick says she's heard from several pastors who want to obey the law but don't understand it. Kravick says she reached out to Forsyth County Sheriff Bobby Kimbrough to ask him how he planned to handle church services under the stay-at-home order. He said, you know, I am not going to be going inside churches to see what people are doing, and we have more important business uh, than to do that. So I will not be going inside looking in churches. This Thursday, Pastor Ron Beatty plans to file a lawsuit against Governor Cooper over a shutdown order. An email from Reverend Beatty's political organization, Return America, says the governor is discriminating against churches. Quote, at the same time, he has allowed ABC stores, abortion centers, hardware stores, Walmart stores, vapor shops, NASCAR, and others to operate at much larger capacities. This is discrimination against the church. The church is present and exists to help and support and be a voice in community and should never be in a place where it put people at risk. So Forsyth County Democrat Derwin Montgomery urges caution reopening churches. Grace and peace from God our Father and our Mother. It is yet a As pastor of First Calvary Baptist Church in Winston-Salem, he says his congregation continues to hold services virtually over Facebook, YouTube, and on the radio. I think some of the urging is as much about trying to have church as normal as it is about churches thinking about the resources needed to continue to sustain themselves. Montgomery says churches need to change much like businesses in response to the pandemic. Pastors and their, their church has to figure out how do we engage in a new world. The message doesn't change, the methods just change. Senate Republican Joyce Kravick says she knows of some pastors who haven't changed their services during the pandemic. Some churches have never stopped. I know several that have. Um, we have some uh, representatives in the uh, General Assembly that are pastors and they have never stopped meeting. Pastor Beatty is urging other pastors and their congregations to join him this Thursday outside the legislature, as he puts it, to stand up for our God-given inalienable rights set forth in the Constitution. In Greensboro, I'm Bill O'Neill, WXII 12 News.